who is the best triathlete of all time? It's just wrong. It's wrong. Flat out wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. Deal with it. One of the most decorated triathletes of all time. Morning, Trainiacs. You know how when your brain starts getting depleted of oxygen during the middle of a speed swim, it starts wandering a little bit? Well, I started thinking, like, who is the best triathlete in our lane? Pat, obviously. Who is the best triathlete in the province? Pat. Who is the best triathlete of all time? So that made me think, hey, let's talk about that today. We're gonna do that in the office. Meet you there. Deal? Deal. Trev, deal? Deal. Holy snap and crap, Trainiacs. You wanna lose friends online? Come up with a best triathletes of all time idea and limit it to only 10 people. Like, I, honestly, I am almost pissed at myself for some of the people that I have to omit from this list. But I'm gonna send the world into a tizzy year by listing them off. And this is in order of number 10 to number one, the best triathletes, male and female, of all time. All time. How I came up with this list is I looked at not just the performance of people in certain events, but I looked at performance over the course of many years, over the course of many distances, how hardy they were, how injury prone they were or weren't. So in some of these cases, a good chunk of these athletes, I think that they could be the best athletes of all time, but because they're still in the middle of their career, we don't yet know how they're going to translate from ITU distance to long course racing. That gives you a little hint of who I think can be higher on this list. At number 10, Daniela Reef. She has been knocking it out of the park over the last few years. She's a two-time full Ironman distance winner. She's a two-time half Ironman world championship winner. And she placed third in the sprint triathlon worlds. And that race was why she ended up cracking the top 10 because that shows that she still got really short course speed. She's not just a long course athlete. Now, do I think that she could become dominant and move way up this list if she stays healthy and wins for years on end? Absolutely. But this year, she's been showing a few cracks in the armor. We don't know if they're cracks or if she's holding back in races. Time will tell. Next at number nine on the list, and I think this is War of the World is gonna jump all over me for not having him higher on the list, is Dave Scott, six-time Ironman world champion. The man. And the reason that I have him at number nine and not higher is because Dave Scott was known for showing up almost exclusively for the Ironman World Championship every single year, and the rest of the events took a back seat. He was injured a lot. Relatively speaking, he didn't do well in short course races. So while the guy was unbelievable and he set a new standard for Kona, in the other races throughout his career, he doesn't have the well-roundedness as some of the other athletes. Just eking him out at number eight is Jan Ferdino. And why I've chosen Jan for the top 10, even though his long course career is relatively short, is because he's had success over multiple distances. He's got a gold medal in the Olympics at the ITU distance. He's got a world championship at the half iron distance. He's got two world championships at the full Ironman distance. And it seems like he's very well rounded for triathlon in general. He doesn't have a big history of injury or fatigue or having complete blow ups in races. He's fairly consistent. And while I think he's probably the number one long course triathlete in the world right now, there are some athletes who I think have been more dominating over the past few years, specifically from ITU, that are ahead of him. At number seven on the list is Paula Newby Frazier. Any list of the best triathletes of all time that does not have Paula Newby Frazier in it is just wrong. It's wrong, flat out wrong. I'm right, you're wrong, deal with it. You put eight Ironman World Championship wins together and 24 Ironman titles to your name over the course of your career together, that deserves a list in the greatest athletes of all time for triathlon. Could she have been higher? Yes, definitely. But we just don't know how well Paula Newby Frazier would have done had she focused more on ITU distance races. Now here's where we get into a little bit of the inner turmoil of who I needed to select to be on the list or not even on the list at all. And number six is Javier Gomez. And the reason that I've chosen Javier so high on the list ahead of people who have 
in some cases, more accomplishments than he does is because Javier is midway through his career and he's shown hardiness, ability to withstand injury, and be versatile over a bunch of different triathlon distances and disciplines. He's a five-time ITU world champion. He's a three-time overall season champion in the ITU distance. He's podiumed in the Olympics. And then on top of that, the couple of times that he's basically just played around with long course racing, he won a half Ironman world championship. And then a week later, or a week before, can't remember what it was, he won an Xterra world championship. The guy isn't even a mountain biker and he went and won a world championship. There's been rumors that he's gonna step up to long course racing over the next couple of years. And if he does that, I think he's got the body structure to do really, really, really well at long course. Now, just ahead of him has been his main adversary over the last few years, Alistair Brownlee. While Alistair hasn't been as well-rounded as Javier has, his dominance in the ITU distance has set a completely new standard. Typically, in the history of ITU racing, you would have athletes that might be good at one or two of the disciplines, but not good at all three. Consistently, Alistair comes out of the water, first, second, or third, he gets off the bike, first, second, or third, and then he runs and wins the event. He's incredible. He might be ITU's single best one day racer of all time. Add on two Olympic gold medals and now stepping up to the half Ironman distance and crushing the field and setting new course records, if his body can hold together, that's always been the chink in Alistair's armor. He could be the most talented triathlete ever. We just don't know how that's going to translate when he steps up to full distance racing. The fourth best triathlete of all time, in my opinion, is Gwen Jorgensen. 13 ITU wins in a row. Enough said. Seriously, her dominance over the course of those two years leading up to the Rio Olympics is something that I have never seen and I don't know if the sport has ever seen in the history of triathlon. She ran away from the most talented ITU athletes in the world. It's not like she came into a soft few years. She has been crushing the field with some of the fastest runs and developing into a very fast cyclist and swimmer alongside that. Just like Alistair, I think that Gwen could develop into the most talented triathlete of all time, we don't yet know how her body is going to handle going to longer distance racing. She could move right up the list to be the best triathlete of all time or not. We'll see. Again, inner turmoil here for number three, Chrissy Wellington. Now, because she hasn't done any short course racing, we don't know how well-rounded a triathlete Chrissy was. The reason that Chrissy is so high on the list is because she never lost a full Ironman distance race in her life. Who does that? She goes from just casual triathlete to age group world triathlete winner to full Ironman pro triathlete champion to Kona world champion multiple times. She still owns the world Ironman distance all-time course record and she's a four-time Ironman world champion. The only reason that she didn't win more in my opinion because she just decided she'd had enough. She was so, so, so insanely dominant at that distance that even a week after getting in a bike crash, she still one and beat the entire field. It's hard not to put her high on this list. Second on the list, I think, is one of the most decorated triathletes of all time, who you don't hear about much anymore besides some charity events, and that's McKeeley Jones. Over the course of her career, she won 175 races, and it was all over the map. Two-time ITU world champion, one-time Kona world champion, and one-time off-road Xterra world champion throw in a couple of good Olympic placings in there. And I think that McKeeley is one of the most talented, well-rounded triathletes out there coming from the female side of things. However, I think that the single best, most talented triathlete of all time over all distances, all time, is Mark Allen. The grip. The reason that I chose him isn't because of his six Ironman World Championship wins. It's not because of his winning streak of 20 races in a row that he won. It's because over the course of his career, he placed on the podium in 90% of the races that he went into. Think about that. If he goes into a race, he's basically on the podium 
for an entire career. And it lasted a long time. It lasted from the early 80s to the late 90s. And it was all distances. It was sprint. It was funky, fun distances that don't really exist anymore. Random distances. He was an ITU world champion in 1989. He made 10 trips to Nice, France, and he went undefeated. And if you look at old footage of Mark Allen, the swim, the bike, and the run, the guy looks like an athlete. He's a physical specimen. His running style is just a sight to behold. And I think that all around, well-rounded, over the course of many years, Mark Allen is the single best triathlete of all time. Now, I'd like to welcome you all to get in the comments below and tell me what you think about this list and who I missed. And I know, I've got the list right here of some notable omissions. Scott Molina, Simon Lessing, Craig Alexander, Greg Welch, Marinda Carfrey. I think I have to do another list for all the triathletes that I unfortunately left out of this list. Trainiacs, hit me up in the comments below with who you like from this list, who you think that I should have put on, who you think that I should kick off. Get on in there and do what the internet does and tell me how right or wrong I am. Thanks, Trainiacs. Have a good one.